All right, so this is actually insane. The White House just announced they're launching something called the Genesis Mission. And they literally describe it as comparable in urgency and ambition to the Manhattan Project, but for AI. So what exactly is the Genesis Mission? Well, they set the stage pretty bluntly. Today, America is in a race for global technology dominance in the development of artificial intelligence. And they say that at this pivotal moment, the challenges we're facing require a historic national effort. Again, comparable in urgency and ambition to the Manhattan Project. They go on to write, This order launches the Genesis mission as a dedicated, coordinated national effort to unleash a new age of AI-accelerated innovation and discovery that can solve the most challenging problems of the century. The Genesis mission will build an integrated AI platform to harness federal scientific datasets. The world's largest collection of such datasets developed over decades of federal investments to train scientific foundation models and create AI agents to test new hypotheses, automate research workflows, and accelerate scientific breakthroughs. So yeah, a Manhattan-level project, but this time for accelerating scientific discovery with AI. The discoveries that will come out of this are actually going to be insane. They also say the Genesis mission will bring together our nation's research and development resources, combining the efforts of brilliant American scientists, including those at our national laboratories, with pioneering American businesses, world-renowned universities, and existing research infrastructure, data repositories, production plants, and national security sites to achieve dramatic acceleration in AI development and utilization. They say they will harness for the benefit of our nation the revolution underway in computing and build on decades of innovation in semiconductors and high-performance computing. The Genesis mission will dramatically accelerate scientific discovery, strengthen national security, secure energy dominance, enhance workforce productivity, and multiply the return on taxpayer investment into research and development, thereby furthering America's technological dominance and global strategic leadership. So yeah, this is pretty crazy. I've never sworn in a video before because I don't think YouTube really likes that, but this 100% warrants it. I mean, we all know what happens when you take the top minds in the country, give them unlimited resources, and treat it like an emergency project. The moon landing, obviously the Manhattan Project, these change the entire trajectory of the world. But what's different this time is that we're not starting from zero. We already have the entire MAG-7 in their own AI arms race, moving way faster than governments ever have. So now you've got the private sector sprinting, the government going Manhattan mode, and AI models continuing to get better and better every single week. This is a completely different kind of race, with completely different implications. And it's one we've never seen before. And speaking of models getting better every single week, Anthropic just dropped Claude Opus 4.5, and it actually beats Google's Gemini 3 in multiple areas. I already did a full deep dive on this, but as you can see, it's state-of-the-art on a lot of benchmarks, especially the coding ones, with that wild 80.9% on SWE Bench Verified. It's also leading on agentic tasks, tool use tasks, computer use, even Arc AGI 2, which measures generalization in totally unseen environments. The only model above it there is Gemini 3 DeepThink, but it isn't even released yet. So obviously benchmarks don't tell the full story, but early testers and the AI community in general seem genuinely impressed. Some people even think it's better than Gemini 3 Pro, which just dropped last week. And while it's not cheaper than Gemini 3 Pro, it is reasonably priced. $5 per million input tokens, $25 per million output. It's also way more efficient than previous Claude models, so it'll generally burn fewer tokens. So yeah, a very solid model overall, and Anthropic is absolutely still in this cutthroat race. Now, the other model drop you probably already saw was Google's Nano Banana Pro. I already made a deep dive on this too, but the short version is, it's one of the most accurate image generators we've ever seen, especially on text rendering, accuracy, and multi-character consistency. It leverages Gemini's live search to generate up-to-date infographics. It outputs incredibly clean designs and fonts. And overall, it's just a major leap in AI image generation. And it seems like this image model, along with Gemini 3 Pro, has really solidified Google's lead in the AI race right now. 
because even Sam Altman himself is starting to panic. According to a leaked internal memo, Sam Altman claims the company is facing rough vibes and economic headwinds after Google's massive week of announcements. He told OpenAI employees that Google has been doing excellent work recently in every aspect and that this might impact OpenAI's future trajectory. So yeah, Google is on an absolute tear right now. But so is everyone else. Not only is the backbone of the entire AI boom, NVIDIA, continuing to blow past revenue and growth expectations every quarter, but as we've seen this week, we're getting new Frontier models dropping back to back and crushing benchmark scores. Claude Opus 4.5, Nano Banana Pro, Gemini 3 Pro, GPT 5.1. Every company is in drop mode right now, and the pace of progress is getting ridiculous. And now we've got the government jumping in the race too, with the Genesis mission. It feels like the dial was already at a 10, and somehow we're still finding a way to turn the knob even further. So these next couple of years, and honestly this whole next decade, is going to be insane. All the top minds, with all the funding in the world, are now going to be working on AI, and specifically on accelerating scientific discovery with AI. The moonshots that once felt out of reach, nuclear fusion, photonic computing, quantum computing, AGI, new materials, new medicines, all of that suddenly feels way more possible. And we've never really had government and big tech pushing in the same direction like this, which means progress is about to speed up at a rate we've literally never seen before with a technology that already progresses at a rate we've never seen before. That's why the Genesis mission is so insane. This is literally a historical moment, and we're living right in the middle of it. What a time to be alive. Now, all this considered though, while the potential for good is absolutely massive, the flip side is that the potential for bad scales right alongside it. And the same week the US launched a Manhattan-level AI project, Anthropic released one of their most concerning safety results so far. They found that when they trained a model in a reinforcement learning environment and gave it tips on how to reward hack, basically how to cheat to get a higher score, which is actually something models in a reinforcement learning environment sometimes learn completely on their own, since they're literally learning without human guidance. But shockingly, it also started picking up a bunch of other misaligned behaviors. At the exact same moment it was reward hacking, it began forming malicious goals, cooperating with bad actors, faking alignment, sabotaging research, and lying to hide its true objectives. And this all happened without being instructed to do any of that. It just emerged naturally as a side effect of cheating at coding tasks. And even worse, when researchers asked the model to help write a tool to detect misalignment, it actually tried to weaken the tool on purpose so it wouldn't get caught. Anthropic calls this natural emergent misalignment. And while they did eventually mitigate it with something called inoculation prompting, the big takeaway is this. As these systems get more capable, the ways they can drift, cheat, or hide things get more complex too. And all it really takes is one misaligned super powerful AI guided by one bad human actor, or even guided by itself, to cause mass destruction. Just think about it this way, if you think AI might eventually find a cure for all disease, or at least most of them, then don't you think it could also create diseases that are more deadly than anything we've ever seen before, perhaps like a virus. But anyway, like everything in history, there's a good side and a bad side. The important thing is that we stay aware of the risks, mitigate them as much as possible, and still push forward, because there's lives at stake either way. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Were you shocked to see the government announce this? And what do you think the implications of this will be? Not just the potential benefits or risks, which we discussed, but also how it might shift the entire landscape. Drop your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, please feel free to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.